120 Bible parables, uh, uh, places of encounter with the living Christ. And it's, a, it's a program which we will spend some time on today, on the first part, and then we will move on, move on in the time nursery to look at the different segments of it and develop it and flesh it out ready for ourselves. But I want you to be aware that this is not something that just it happened over a number of years. And really, this whole concept began under the direction of St. Jacques uh, Ruby Kuzer uh, in 206, 207. Tool 6 tool 7, in Tool 6 in Tushevets, in Propovichis, uh, in uh, Ukraine, at the Synod, and then in Tool 7 here in Philadelphia when they had the Synod. And uh, it's, it attests to the leadership of our patriarch Kuzer, who initiated a process of, of uh, looking at our church today. Uh, and when he talks about the church, it's the entire church worldwide. And giving a sense of who we are, our identity, and who, where do we see ourselves to be in, in, in five years, 10 years, 20 years from now, and so on. Work with them and to provide some mechanism to be able to really implement these, how do we work with these, and, and, and to look then specifically what is the role of the church uh, uh, to, uh, uh, what is the role of the permanent synod should it change, what is the role of the complete synod, what is the role of the patriarch of Curia, what is the role of St. Sophia, how do we use all of our resources of our empire as a patriarch? something that we must do. And uh, if you look into your parish attendance, it's scary. Uh, and it's not going to get better unless we make changes. And these changes certainly do not start with somebody else. It's with us, personally with me. Uh, and I experience this change in Ottawa and through my prayer, I hope that you will experience too. And you will support my endeavor and my intention, uh, intention uh, to go along with you toward the goal. Um, we have a very, very serious uh, project uh, and uh, it's very demanding. We have to write uh, the report of uh, Everything that we discuss today and the achievement, everything that you will express will be recorded and will be implemented into decision making of our future action. Uh, please do the best you can. The main point is to re revitalize our parishes. And I prepared some uh, PowerPoint for us to go along with. And uh, the first thing is, like with the St. Thomas, and probably 80% of us feel the same way, it will not work. So many things you try, it will not work. And certainly uh, all of us are probably not feeling powerful enough to change. And they were unlike leaders, like we are unlike. So the Bible tells us no more about mending nets than winning Congress. 
Archbishop presented a story with uh, his beatitude uh, Luther. However, if you look into the letters of the popes, of the bishops, for the decades, they have the reference toward the change. And uh, we see our former Pope John Paul II wrote, Without doubt, many of the Christian fabric of society is urgently needed in all parts of the world. But for this to come about, what it is needed is to remain the Christian fabric of the ecclesial community itself. Before we start doing anything with the parishioners, we have to start with ourselves, with our own attitude with our own belief. If you do not believe, you will not succeed. I hope that today I will win your hearts and you will be enthusiastic to take the leap of faith ahead. And uh, who will help us to take this leap of faith? We will help, help each other. Church has to remain its own fabric, its own working attitude toward everything that we have. It's to be sanctified ourselves before you sanctify somebody else. You have to fix your own belief and religion before you can do anyone's else. If you have questions, you can ask. As a group, we have to play the game. And this game is very simple. It's to be dedicated, trustworthy toward each other. Once we will not be self-reserved and uh, closed inside, once we will be open toward each other and honest, then we will succeed. Do you think so or not? Probably. Just look how many people are about it. Thousands. Thousands of people. Why do they come to watch these 24, uh, you know, 22 people from crazy, yeah? Because they like the game. They enjoy seeing professional players to play. And I believe they will come, uh, come home and buy a ball and kick the ball with their children and their friends. Imagine that you are in the church playing such a you know, important game. People are so engaged that they come home and they start preaching for each other. You know, I have my son, he's just uh, nine years old. Constantly he's with me in the church. But he one day came and said, I want to be a priest, but I have to go to Rome to become a priest. I want to preach. I said, okay, you want to preach, go study for anything. Later on, I reflected that something triggered in me. Some, something was there. And I wish it would be more powerful Church in the church will be ignited like the children are ignited. This is our goal to be one team in the church of Archdiocese and play a successful game.